Singapore has a reputation of being one of the cleanest cities in the world. But is Singapore really clean? If you wake up early in the morning, take a look at the streets. Is this how far we've come? Is this the environment that I want to raise my children in? Every resident think that we should not litter. We should take action against the litter bug. But how to take action and how to be effective? Imagine Singapore with no cleaners, with no one to clean up after us. All the food and trash left on the floor, we're just welcoming all the rats, all the plastic bags. Perfect environment for mosquitoes to breed on stagnant water. It's time for us to do something about it. It's time for us to change. And to find out how, we went to Taiwan. We went to Taipei City to see how they are coping and how their culture would embrace cleanliness. The first school uh, is very interesting. I mean, it is obviously a very special school. The way they have painted, you know, the walls and decorated the classrooms, it's obviously meant to remind the students of the importance of the environment. The schools generally do not employ cleaners. It is expected that the children, uh, coached by the teachers, will keep their school clean. And in both schools, they were completely spotless. And I think the children and the teachers, they did a wonderful job of maintaining the place. And when you have to sort out the rubbish into the different components for recycling, you're more conscious of what you're doing. And therefore, you reduce the amount of waste you generate. There are no cleaners in the school. We clean the school ourselves. We segregate the plastic, paper, and bottles. And I'm sure later on in their life, after they leave school, they will be very mindful about environmental issues. Long ago, many Singapore schools used to do the same thing. But it is over the years that I think we begin to outsource the cleaning. And I think in the process, we probably lost that opportunity to teach the right kind of behaviour. And we must be prepared to create activities so that students can actually generate feeling for the environment. And then they will act it out. The schools create a spirit of volunteerism and ownership belongs to everyone. And once you have that instilled in you, you can take action.